is BWF World Championships coverage here on Court 2. We've had six matches already played and we're into the seventh of the day. It's Malaysia's Kisona Salvadurai who takes on Chinese Taipei's Pai Yu Po, the women's singles clash that's coming up on Court 2. And of course, there's plenty, plenty more action coming your way on this opening day. Looking at the women's singles draw and where these two women are placed, the winner of this match will take on, of course, the Olympic champion Chan Yufei in the second round. So it doesn't get any easier. There are no easy matches at the World Championships and, uh, well, you've got to hit the ground running. We're here at the beautiful Royal Arena in Copenhagen. And well, it is a chance to relish for both Kisona Salvadurai and Pai Yu Po because they will be, of course, looking to go as deep as possible in this tournament. We wait for the players and technical officials to get on court. But in the meantime, just next door are the warm-up courts, which is where the players get a chance to ready up and also, after the match, even cool down some of them. As you can see, it's a very busy area. We have uh, multiple matches, four courts all together being uh, or in action in these early stages of the tournament. So lots of players, lots of, uh, of course, coaches and entourage around them who will be in those warm-up courts. And uh, for these two women, it's a chance to get their to World the Championships singles. campaign Welcome underway Asia. here on court two. There Johanna is the player from, apologies, that is not Kisona Salvador, right? It's a different player who's coming onto court. Probably is playing on the outside courts. Action in court four, I believe. We still have to wait a few moments for the court two players. We know that the technical officials have already taken their place and uh, waiting eagerly for the players to get on court. Kisona Salvador of Malaysia, of course, the highest ranked women's singles player, or one of two high women's singles players for Malaysia, making her third World Championships appearance here. Having uh, played in both 2021 and 2022 editions of the World Championships. Both saw her exit in the first round so she'll be looking desperately to go one better. Get rid of that first round jinx. For Payupo, well, she is a veteran of the game. She's making her seventh World Championships appearance, the Chinese Taipei Shuttler. She debuted way back in 2015. A lot of experience behind the 32-year-old Payupo of Chinese Taipei. Of course, the Chinese Taipei entourage led by the one and only Tai Tzu Ying in the women's singles. Who often carries the hopes of the nation, but Tai Yupo will certainly hope to keep her company as long as possible in this tournament. We can see that the arena is slowly but surely filling up. It is, after all, a Monday here in Copenhagen and... Uh, as the day goes on, people finish work, people finish schools, and uh, then we will see the arena, of course, fill up. We've got the world champion, Kit Axelson, later in action. Here she is, Kisona Salvadorai of Malaysia, who has been struggling with the injuries on and off these last couple of years. Looking to put all of that behind her. And there is from Chinese Taipei, Pai Yu Po, the world number 23. As I mentioned, seventh world championships appearance. 
in which she reached the third round. That's her best finish in the World Championships. That was in 2015. She reached the third round, lost to Marin, Carolina Marin, in three. And that was her best finish on her debut. Can she replicate that is the question. Well, her ranking certainly suggests that uh, she is favored on paper, but as we know, more often than not, all that can be torn up. It's all about who plays their best badminton on the day. Hello. This will be their first ever meeting. Are you pull? Red or black, what do you choose? Red, black for you, Kisuna. Black, your choice. Service, decide. So, Kisuna Salvadura winning the toss, choosing to serve. Payupo, which means gets the choice of ends, and she's going to stay on the near end of the court. When we see the court on our screens here, she'll remain on the end. She put her bag down on. Now 24 years of age from Negri Sambilan in Malaysia, Kisona Salvadurai, ranked 57th in the world currently, gone up as high as 41. So she's broken into the top 50 before. That was in October of 2022. This year has not been the best for Kisona. Six to ten win-loss record in 2023. She'll be looking to get more wins under her belt. I'm sure that's the aim of the game. Also, her first round record in 2023 has been not for fantastic reading. Four to six, so more losses than victories in the first round for Kisona Salvadurai. Her last tournament was the Korea Open, where she lost in the second round to Akane Yamaguchi, the reigning world champion. She lost to Yamaguchi in three games there. Payupo, as I mentioned, 32 years of age, a tall player, 173 centimeters from Taipei, in Chinese Taipei. She's currently ranked 23 in the world, which is quite close to the highest ranking she ever achieved. That was world number 20. And that was way back in April of 2018. So she somehow fantastically maintained a level of consistency that's not often seen at the highest levels in badminton. Her 2023 win loss is 10 to 15. So she also has more losses than wins under her belt. In the first round, it's a lot closer for her. She's seven wins to eight losses, as we see the service officials. Yasan Sairali of Mauritius will be the umpire of the day, and he'll be joined in the service judges' chair by Fabio Beto of Italy. Those are your officials for the match. So her last tournament, Payupo, was the Australian Open. She lost in the quarterfinals to Aya Ohori of Japan in straight games but uh, unlike Kisona who hasn't gotten past the second round on the HSBC BWF World Tour this year Payupo has had multiple quarterfinal appearances on tour she got to the quarterfinals of the Chinese Taipei Open she got to the quarterfinals of the Swiss Open as well as the Thailand Masters so knows a thing or two about playing deep in tournaments has certainly shown potential this season. As we see the players finish up their warm-ups, get ready to get this match underway. Salvatore looking desperately to break that first round jinx at the World Championships. In 2021, she lost to Neslihan Yijit of Turkey, 21-14, 21-15, and then in 2022, and lost to Wuti Chuan, 21-10, 21-17 in Malaysia. And on my left, Payupo, Chinese Taipei. Kisuna Selvadurai to serve, love all. Play. Sona Salvador, I will serve to get this match underway. It's called out. 
just off the line. Time is over. One love. They did get some time to train on the main courts over the weekend, the players. Time is over. One all. The first few points in the first round in a new arena. It's all about just getting used to conditions, finding your footing. Finds Silva. the net instead with a very flat One. forehand from Kisona there. That's well to push Pai back and was looking to go across court on the flatter forehand. Out. So already we see quite flat two exchanges four. between the two. Having spoken to some of the players over the weekend, playing conditions are pretty ideal here at the Royal Arena. It's uh, got to be about two. playing the patient game, trying to take control of the point. Can't be all out attack from the get go. You've got to read the conditions, read the opponent well, and then make your move. That's going to be key. Point. That's a lovely Davis forehand, over. right Three. down the hand line. Oh. Service over, four, three. It's going to be about trying to find your ground, and errors will be common early on. See that change, I reckon, about halfway through this first game. We'll see less nervy shots. Four. That's a fantastic shot, but Kisona, Four. even though she Four. got her racket on it, wasn't able to do much. Look at that. This steep, fast forehand from Paiyupo. Four. So Payupo takes the lead. Oh. Just wide. Service over. Five. Oh. Service over, six, five. They both have struggled at the net a little bit at the moment. Just not being able to get the shuttle over. Out. Service over, six, all. Salvador has a little bit more riding in this match. She tries to find her footing. Lovely net shot. Seven, On the backhand, too. Six. That's a delightful shot. Just going cross net. Late. Davis over. Salvadurai. Seven. You take all. the net. To really. 
hold deep Play on. when she made that shot, and that was the error, really. Play on. Play on. Play. Lovely Clavis again, over. right Eight. on the line. Seven. Sublimely struck. It was about placement, that one. She went past her opponent. Seen bright sparks already in Kisona Savadurai's game. Nine. And I think Seven. for the first time in this match, you see a player go up by two. It is early days, but starting to establish control. Oh! Make that three. Ten. Seven. Service over, eight, ten. A little bit careless. Three-point run there. Nine, ten. And again, Payupo using those net shots to her advantage. Look at that. He's on that full stretch, trying to play it back. She does get a racket under it, but that time couldn't even get it over. Point lead. 11 9 in Durban. Almost vanished, but lands in and uh, so Nasavajarai holds on. 11 9 at the mid game interval. The Malaysian just edging her opponent at the moment. Is quickly back 11, court. Nine. And uh, Play. Right with a two point advantage halfway through this first game. Okay, once more. Service over. Then Lovely 11. little net shot. She just nudges the shuttle over. Pai Yupo. It's not often caught out. I think that's the third time we've seen that happen where she had to. Rush forward. She challenged that. Call out. Right. Challenges called out. <laughs> That's the right challenge. It's Correction. right on the line. In. It's good work by Salvadorai. 12, 10, play. Again. It's a 
Anderson. He actually be a good rally. But it is Paiu Po who that comes out on top. 11, 12. Plays a fantastic drop shot at the end. Right in the corner. Again, Kisona Salvador just caught out of position. Look at that shot. Superbly placed. 28 shots. Longest rally so far. And she levels the score, Paiupo, having trailed at one point by three. It's back on level terms. Thirteen. Twelve. There is starting to once again emerge from the Malaysians game. You see a record against top 30 players and it's not the best reading. She's 4 and 19 against Service over. 30. Old. top 30 players in her senior career. And this year alone, she's played three top 30 players. She's lost all three. That's much better. A lot of pacier exchange on that one. 13. More aggressive from Salvadorai. Yeah. Was round the head with that forehand. So she's 0-3 in 2023 against top 30 players. 4-19 to 19 in her career. History suggests that the odds are against her. Not if she plays like that. 15, she's decided 13. to take a more aggressive approach in these last two points. Forces the lift. No. And then Change. casual smash down. Coach approves. Ayupo can't quite believe it. <laughs> Rai smile. So three-point lead once more for the Malaysian. It's called in. She'll Kisuna challenge it again. Rai challenges called in. Wasn't the most assured challenges, I'd have to say. She kind of raised her hand midway. She was watching the shuttle, though. She must be feeling pretty confident about her chances. Yep. Challenge. Again, the right challenge. She's two out of two in challenges. One challenge remaining. Service over. 14, 16. I beg your pardon. That was in. Play. She had challenged that had gone out, so she does have one challenge remaining. It made sense why she was not sure of that challenge. 15, 16. She decided to go for it still, and why not? You're towards the end of the first game. Might as well see if chance favors you. 16. Down the line oh. winner from Paiu Po. Quickly, quickly. Moves her opponent well there, but it's the accuracy of the shot 
on the Great. backhand, Kisona. Level the score here again, 16 all. Seventeen, sixteen. Not able to get across. Shuttle rolling over on her side, and Pai Yu Po at a very crucial time in the first game takes an important lead. Service over. Seventeen. Oh. Well, we're back at level scores, just as quickly. Cross court winner. Again, just pushing Payupo back. She creates that space. Kisona Savadurai. Different flexes. Over. 18. At the moment, it's all Kisona because the winners are coming off her, the errors are coming off her racket. She could just be a little bit more consistent. She'd be <laughs> ahead in this game. Coaches also. Service over. 19. 18. Feeling a little let down by that. It's too close to call at the moment. Ayupo making a late decision there, moving costly. Service over. Net shot again 19. doing wonders. All. Lovely drop shot from Pai. Yep, just nudging the shuttle over. You can see that time and time 20, again when Kisona approaches point, 19. in a more aggressive manner. She finds the winners and here she is at game point. A solitary game point for the Malaysian. Forehand from Savadurai. Also, Payu Po, knowing how much was at stake in that point. Look at that yell. 20 all. Beautifully placed. How about that? She finds it right between the lines. Couldn't be placed any better than that. Another game point here for Kisona Salvadurai. The defensive work. Lands out. Game. And Kisona Salvadurai has held on. First game won by to Kisona, take the advantage. 22-20 in the first game. Oh, it was nerve biting towards the end there. But on the second chance. And off the error of Payupo's racket. It's Kisona Salvadurai who Past the first game under her belt, 19 minutes gone, and she's 22-20 up.
泡茶，我自己要注意一下。那他讲，先慢慢点打 ，OK 吗？也是喘一点，慢慢慢来，慢慢来，应该。他什么没有 dangerous， 他的杀球也是没有什么。如果，呢，呃，好像你给了一半一半啊，你准备后面他他是打。这边罢了，他没有哪里有落，他没有落的。你 first first 几分？现在去还 serve， 慢慢落，慢慢落。拿 point， 你拿 point 先拿。滚脚多嘛，不一定。过后才 attack， attack 的时候 attack。因为你打 cross， 杀 cross， 他不让你再打 cross， 你自己死。因为你打直就啊，你自己省一点地方，懂没有？可以省一点力，可以可以可以。打落，打皮慢慢，不要打什么，不要打。啊？没有，全部都一样一样，慢慢慢慢打，然后 drop 再扣，再再扣一遍，跑慢点啊，过后看看他们讲什么。It was a lot of hard work, but Kisuna Sovadurai coming through in that first game, 22-20. Second game. On the second game point opportunity. And she'll be looking to now build Play. on that here in the second game. Change of ends. And she'll serve to get the game underway. Up. That's quite a late decision, but it's called out. Service over. One love. I wonder whether she thought about challenging that. You want change? Yes. Again, just love. Not being able to get it over, she was looking for the net roll there. Lands on her end. Payupodo was ready. Anticipated it well. Finds the line. One, two. <laughs> yeah, it seems like. She was looking for that winner. Came clearly out, puts her on the scoreboard. And this time it's two old Pai who falters at the net. Two old. Looking to change direction. Silva, three. Surprise two. her opponent, but couldn't keep it in. Change of direction there. Trying to go and find the corner. Four. That's fantastic. Three. So quick Four. sometimes. Quick doubling. Yeah, just look at that. Cross court. Goes for the steeper shot. Thank you. But it's the pace at which that shuttle comes. By you, Paul. In court. She's been without a title for quite some time. Kisona Salvadorai, her last Play. final was in 2021 at the Challenger Circuit when she won the Spanish International. Hasn't won on the HSBC BWF World Tour yet. Ah, she left it late. It's a good defensive work. Staying in the rally. Oh, but on the net shot, she... Service over. 
fails Four, once more. Three. Paiu Po stays ahead. That was a good rally. Salvadora doing all the right things to stay in it, but just comes up short of the net there. Missed that completely. Time is over. Four, all. She's all focus at the moment, and just a blink there means the point is lost for Paiu Po. Last final on the HSBC World Tour was the Russian Five, Open back in 2019. Four. That title beating Kirsty Gilmore in three games hasn't been able to find success since. Again, a little bit lucky with Six, that. Four so it rolls over the tape because she had her eyes set on a winner. Takes a two point lead. having won the last three points. It's called out. Seven, four. Well, this is a good little spell from Kisona Salvadurai. That's four points on the trot now for the Malaysian. That's landed out as well. Okay. Four. The fans are happy. Service over. Five, eight. Much to Payupo's relief, brings an end to that five point run. Over. She tries to go behind Nine. her opponent. Five. White. White the court, please. And this is a really good show from the 24-year-old Malaysian here. By you put, use your towel. Look at no that. She's trying to go behind her opponent towel. on that forehand. Here on court. So four point lead as we near the mid game break. Play. Then make five. that five. And you just get the feeling that Kisona Salvadorai might have overcome a hurdle here. Eleven five interval. So eleven five at the break. She's now won seven of the last eight points, Kisona Savadurai. And of course has that first game advantage as well. The Malaysian now with one foot in the door. <laughs> For two twenty seconds. For two twenty seconds. Coach. Coach. Thank you, Chair. Mm. 
players back quickly to resume the second game and uh, well, how you call there's a Five. lot of work to be done here play took a foot off the pedal towards the end of that first half Chinese Taipei Shuttler <laughs> to take anything away from Kisona's game oh. so over. six 11 but those net shots that came quite frequently in the first game that proved to be effective I haven't seen many of those from Payupo in the second game. Too far. Seven. Eleven. Last year, Payupo exited in the first Five. round as well. She lost to Peter Kwon Chai Wan in straight yeah. games. She's had two first round exits before this at the World Championships last year in 2018. Reached the second round twice as well. Service over to World Seven. Looking to make it a third time here if she can. Are you? Change the momentum. Sona manages to get a win here. It'll be her first top 30 win so of the year. A 12. She lost to Akane Yamaguchi, as I mentioned, the Korea Open. In three games, in the first in the second round, and before that, it was at the Badminton Asia Championships that she lost to Punpawi Chochuwong, also in three games, in the first round, and then at the Swiss Open, the start of this year, in the first round, she lost to Kirsty Gilmore. By you, po, in three games, called out. So looking for her first top 30 win, also her first win at the World Championships. So in Salvador, right? Challenged here by Payupo. That's out. Challenge. And it was successful. the right decision by the line judge. Remaining. And so an so unsuccessful over, challenge 13, by Payupo. A five point lead for Kisola Salvadurai. Time it's landed out for sure. Service over 9 13. By you both challenges, she's challenging that one out as well. It's called out. She desperately needs some luck here. Paiu Po. Looking to mount a challenge. Might be a little too late. She's still trying. Yeah, it's out. Challenge. And so she's out of challenges now. No challenge remaining. Took a risk there. Service Not. over. 14. 9. Play. Not having any challenges left. We've still got some amount of match time here left. And out again. 15. She's just not being nine. able to find her lines. Seems she's lost sight maybe a little bit of this match. Service over, 10, 15. It's been Kisona who's been in charge since four all in the second game. She slowly and steadily built that lead. And now just about six points away from the second round. Oh! 
11, 15. Got to do more of that. Just stay in the rallies, stay in the exchanges at the moment, Pai Yupo, because it's forcing her opponent to try and find winners, find that space oh. again. 12, 15. Back to back errors that seemed a little too casual from Kisona Salvadurai. And she left it late. 13, 15. It's already quite a flat forehand. Sorry, backhand off, uh, off the backhand of Paiyupo. She hit a quite flat forehand, and, uh, well, we saw the result there. That's the net shot that we've been waiting 15. for. That's what she did really well in the first game. Paiyupo, come forward and make these lovely little net shots. Keep them quite close to the net. Put Kisona at full stretch. Change. Sure. Thank you. And well, so now in court. Now a one-point game. Five straight points for Pai Yu Po. Play. And we're back to a very close match indeed. She returns a favor. Service over. Brilliantly played drop 14. shot. bit of deception on that as well. It's the tilt of the racket. Sixteen fourteen. That looked like it was going out. That is over. Fifteen sixteen. That shot that Paiyupo played there. Looked like it was heading out. So now didn't want to take a chance, played it back and then by, led by to an go. error. Show where to wipe. That one there, that looked well wide. Thank you. So one point game. As we sort of enter the business end Thank of this Second game. Play. It's now or never really for Pai Yu Po. It's in. Well played. Sixteen. Oh. Again, going behind her opponent. Gauges the distance well. 16 all, we're on level scores. For the first time since four all in the second game, we see the scores leveled. Remember, Kisona was leading 13-8 at one point. It's over. 17, 16. Error of Payupo's racket. Just can't get over the net on that occasion. She's just got to be that able to over. control her 17. emotions in uh, Kisona Salvadora. She knows she can sense the finish line. She's trying to take charge. 
maybe rushing it a little bit. It's got to temper it. Play the more sensible game, play the more patient game, because right now it's error after error. 18, and for the first time 17. in the second game, we see Pai Yu Po take the lead. What a time to do so. 18-17. Stretch again. Good net shot. Time is over. 18 old. Just there, light touch from Kisona, and then Change. follows it up with a lovely net shot. How you for misjudging it completely. <laughs> I love her expressions. 18 all. So. Uh, Mini scare for Kisona there. She's managed to level it back. It's on the line. Bang on the line. Tabi Silva, 19. She has 18. been more often than not very accurate at the net. Once more, takes the lead. Will now get very tense. Oh, again, a full stretch. Oh. It's out. And Pai Yu Paul. Has turned Game this point. around in fantastic 18. fashion. From 10 15 down, she's now 20 18 up with two game points. Ready to push this match into a decider. Play. What a comeback! Well, she does it on the first time of asking. 19, 20. Well, she's false call on the net. Yep, she does the net. By you, Pope. You ready to receive? And so that's one game point saved. One more to go. Game. But Payupo Second game. holds One on. Payupo, 21-19. One game And she's old. pushed this match in the most unlikeliest way to a third. Having taken the second game, 21-19. She's turned this around. Confirmation there. Pai Yu Po taking the second game 21 19 after 24 minutes played. We're going into a decider. First 11 point, Mamata. Gun point, the cut, the cut, high kick, such a high kick, high high lip, come here. Sir. Yes, Prima. You mean a spray, man? Such a good spray. Ah, this is enough. Bench, We will have such a chip with that. Benjamin. 
Go to 20 seconds. Go to 20 seconds. This one up. Just drop it inside, please. Thank you. Final game. Level. So we go into a third game here in the women's singles match between Kisona Sobodurai and Paiyu Po. After Paiyu Po staged love. a fabulous comeback in the second. And has given herself a real chance here now. Oh. Service over. One all. It's gone a well way out on the high serve. It was unexpected. See from her expression. Cross court winner. Service over. Solid display. One. By you, challenge that. challenges. Call. In. It's called in. And during the um, interval between games, there was some conversation about Kisona potentially struggling with some Challenge amount of pain. And successful. You can see that her right knee is strapped. One challenge remaining. Heavily. Service over. It's got a guard Two. on. Oh. There was talk of spray, Play. but she's decided not to take it. And I wonder whether that's hampering Three, her in any way. Two. Because the first half of that second game, she was unstoppable, really, and uh, something changed in the second half. A lot more errors from Kisona. Whether it's some kind of pain that she's playing with. It's on the line. Four, two. What's the shuttle? By you, Po. Don't show out before the line judge gives signal. Don't show out before line judge gives signal. Thank you. Umpire, they're telling. Hi, that not to indicate if the shuttle is out before the line judge has. Made that decision. Service over. Three, four. That's called in as well. Yeah, cross court on the line winner. Perfectly placed. out she's missed it for oh. level scores and that's what was happening a lot in the second half of the second game errors of persona's racket we're coming thick and fast five Six, not able four. to control. Things at the moment. Quickly, quickly. It's making some careless mistakes as a result. Play. Just to get her focus back here. We saw her take full charge in that second game, and from about 15, 10, haven't seen much of that since. 
자, 미첼 오바. 5, 6. 스폴린. again really nice net shot just gets it over keeps it close to the net Payupo. yeah and uh wow okay so not time and time again struggling to reach it's well out eight five So the three-point lead now for the Chinese Taipei Shuttler. Who turned this match around fabulously. And again, deceptive Nine, net shot. Five. Going round the head with the forehand, going for the slower drop there. Got her racket under the shuttle persona, but couldn't do much with it. Zavisova, six, nine. Seven, nine. They're taking turns, aren't they? Making the mistakes. Nearing the hour mark. And this has been a test of their concentration for sure. Look at that movement that Zavisova. she's creating, Payupo, Ten. moving Kisona Seven. around at will, just pushing her back and then creating that space cross court. Plays the smash to perfection. Three point lead. Play. Eleven seven called out and that means that it's Payupo who goes into the break with a four point advantage. Again, Salvador making the mistake, just nudging the shuttle out of bounds and uh, therefore trails by four in the decider. Plus 11 points on our T, the T, the Kai Losa Swara. I didn't get it, I couldn't think I called you. You are Kai Kala, you make other such a for two twenty seconds. For two twenty seconds. Coach, you tell your chair. Bye. In the back on court. Ready to get this decider underway and 11, 7. Pretty much play. What will decide this last run of points that will decide who goes through to the second round? 12, and right now, it's all seven. going Paiupo's way. But to the second round in three occasions 2017, 2019, and 2021. at the World Championships. Thirteen, seven. Kisuna Salvadora is struggling to find her range. It's been a real change. 
about halfway through the second game. She can't get. 14, seven. She can't put her shuttle in at the moment. It's been mistake after mistake. You take nothing away from Pai Yupo, who's just stayed focused. Eight, 14. Kept her eye on the prize, Chinese Taipei Shuttler. Service over, 15, A. Now has a seven point lead. Fantastic work. Silver, nine, 15. By Kisona. Again, just staying in the rally, playing the shuttle back, trying to make some kind of change in the momentum. Davis Silver, 16, 9. And that gives it away cheaply. A good rally. Need a player letting go, and in the end, it's Payupo who goes long. 10, 16. Thirty-one shots. That's wide as well. 11, 16. It's just tempering the emotions, calming the mind. I think both these players fighting more on the inside than they show. There's no doubt about the quality of their game. We've shown it through this match in parts. The consistency Joel, has been lacking. 16. As we see Pai Yupo now, struggling to find the lines. There is talk of drift. And from I am, what I understand, that the drift is moving sideways more towards the stage where the players emerge from, so towards the from left to right. Service over. On screen. 17. 12. Seventeen twelve. She's made enough of a dent in the score line to make sure that she stays in charge, stays ahead. That time, 18, though, she made no 12. mistake, came charging forward to kill off the point. Yeah. Kills it off with ease. Three away from a win here. That's a great smash. Over. Just unlucky 30, for Pai Yupo. She 18. couldn't get the shuttle across. It was the right idea. But also, relief for Kisona. Up. 
the second time. She's gone for the high over. serve and it's landed 19, wide. 13. Now Paiyuko two points away from a victory here. A big come from behind victory. And it's unlikely that she's going to let it go. 20, what a fabulous way to set up match 13. points. She was aggressive throughout that exchange. And then plays another deadly drop shot. Sets up multiple match points. Superb comeback victory for Paiyupo here. She's booked her place in the second round after 61 minutes on court. Coming back from 20-22 down to win 21-19, 21-13 in the first round against Kisona Salvadurai. Just feel that Kisona ran out of steam at the end there. But what a great result for the 32-year-old Paiyu Po. Confirmation once more off the score, 20-22, 21-19, Paiyu Po is through to round two. It is the match of round one. The one that we've all been waiting for. Malaysia's Lee Zijia takes on the number five seed, Jonathan Christie.
you're watching live coverage of the Total Energies BWF World Championships 2023 here on Court 2. We've had seven matches played and we're looking forward to a 